Good afternoon, Valor families. First and foremost, Happy New Year's, and we hope that you had a productive, meaningful holiday season full of love, peace, and happiness. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Dean Aldrich. I am the Executive Director of Valor Soccer. It is you, our members, that are the most important tool and the most important source of information that will help your club, our community club, get better each and every day. We have a very wide and large and vast territory that we're responsible here at Valor Soccer. We go from Enumclaw to the White River School District in Buckley, through Black Diamond, Maple Valley, Kent, and Covington. It's a wide and very large territory to serve. This is an honor and privilege that we take very seriously in being able to meet the needs of our community. Let me start with our competition level and where we're competing. I must start with where we started last year and please remind you that Valor Soccer was birthed on April 1st, 2019. We've learned a lot in these short nine months. On every program that we offer, we've identified areas that we can get better at. And I can assure you, we're going to work diligently to get better every day to make sure that we're living up to our commitments that we make. So let's start with competing on our competitive level. I would encourage you and implore you to please not pay any attention to social media. Please do not pay any attention to keyboard warriors. We've heard through the grapevine that Valor was never going to be successful. We'd never be able to compete in the RCL. We would not be able to do what we say we're going to do. Well, I am proud to tell you and proud to report that in the RCL, we have competed and we have competed well. We have a very, very robust win and loss ratio. In fact, we are in the top five teams when it comes to winning percentage in the RCL or top five clubs in the RCL. For those clubs that have participated in more than a hundred games in this season thus far, we are number one in the RCL. And as of the time you receive this message, we are a fully sanctioned provisional club in the RCL. We're very thankful to our RCL partners and to our other clubs that are our partners throughout the state to give us the opportunity to compete with their clubs. We have great partners and we view the other clubs as our partners. They've helped us grow and they've helped us learn. So to those other club partners throughout the state, we are profoundly grateful for helping us get better. So it should go without saying that we have competed and we've competed well in the RCL. I'm very proud of all of our children and all of our coaches for that accomplishment because in our opinion, we never expected to be so successful so quickly. Now let me move on to our select program. Our select program is, is alive and is, is healthy and is, is, is yielding us exactly the fruits that we thought it would yield us. With that being said, we're playing just over 500 ball in select. Our kids are being developed. Our kids are having fun and they're growing. Our fall rec season is over and we're proud to report that we had a great season in rec as well. They competed well north of the 500 level. There were lots of kids smiling, lots of kids having a great time, few injuries on the field. So I'm happy to say that we are hitting all cylinders in all of our programs. I'm also happy to report that our leadership team for Top Soccer has done an amazing job. For those of you that don't know, Top Soccer is a program that we put on in our club, as do some of our partners throughout the state, that give some of our children that have disabilities the ability to compete on the soccer field. There is nothing more fulfilling than watching those children have the ability to play the game of soccer. I thank our staff for this accomplishment and I thank our families that have participated in top soccer. All children should have the ability to participate in soccer. On my part, I wanna say that we have achieved every objective that we set out to achieve when Valor was birthed. We are financially solid. We have a vibrant and brilliant future in front of us. The landscape and the future for Valor soccer is healthy, profound and strong. Thank you once again, ladies and gentlemen, for the opportunity to serve you. Please be safe in this new year. 
And our club wishes you all the love, peace, and happiness that your family deserves. And we wish you great success on the soccer field, in the classroom. We wish great success academically to all of our children. So have a great 2000 There is a topic season. that must be talked about, that as I'm shooting this video, lo and behold, it's snowing out. So weather is a very difficult thing to forecast. When you take weather and nearly 140 teams that are playing or practicing at any given time in the entire club that we, that we run here, it can be very difficult on how we disseminate information out to you and how we get it out to our members. So please pay very close attention to communications when there's inclement weather. We will always put the children's safety first and foremost. Weather changes very quickly and weather patterns are very different in all of our complexes where we run our practices. But we will do our best to make sure that we get cancellation notices out as soon as possible. But please understand, the final say-so on this are the coaches. The coaches have the final say-so if they believe their children are safe or they're not. The leadership of this team will visit all of the fields one hour prior to all practices. If we can do so, we will make that announcement then. But it may not be uncommon for that weather pattern to change within that hour of us visiting the fields by the time the children actually get there. So please, make sure you do your part when we're hit with inclement weather, dress your children appropriately. Let's keep them warm and make sure they have warm clothes to change into immediately after practice. Stay tuned, watch our social media sites, and pay attention to communications from your team managers. Thank you.